Well, welcome to Actionable Intelligence. I'm Eric Greitens. I'm honored to be with you tonight. And as you know, on this show here, we respect your intelligence. We honor you as citizens. We hear you and we're on your side. In emails, Facebook messages, tweets, and texts, thousands of you have reached out to us concerned about the integrity of the election. You've heard people talking about irregularities. Press conferences have been held. Accusations have been made. You've seen lawsuits filed. Stories of observers being blocked from, well, observing. <laughs> Stories of what appears to be unusually high voter turnout. This was Adam Laxalt, former Nevada Attorney General. In the last many days, we have received reports of many irregularities across the valley. We, we believe that there are dead voters that have been counted. You've also heard it from the president. They're going forward. They don't want anybody in there. They don't want anybody watching them as they uh, count the ballots. And I can't imagine why. And you've heard it from the people inside the president's campaign team. So we're gonna be watching this nonsense because everyone knows what's going on. Yeah. Everyone understands it. And the media who, let's not kid ourselves, have given up the pretense of objectivity to be cheerleaders for the left. The publicly available information raises a lot of questions and yet we are not getting answers just like you. Now folks, a lot of questions have been raised. But instead of complaining or criticizing, our team is taking action. After a slew of comments and concerns were raised, Just the News, in partnership with Real America's Voice, has launched a project to independently review the returns from a select number of counties in the most contested swing states. The investigation is going to include a review of the number of votes cast compared to the total eligible voters, We're going to look at alleged ballot harvesting. There's going to be a thorough look to ensure that proper certification processes were followed. And we're also going to do a county by county investigation to ensure that there was equal protection under the law for how ballots were counted. Now, joining us now to give us more information about this partnership, the mission of the project, and what they've already found is founder and editor-in-chief at Just the News, John Solomon. John, thanks so much for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, good to be with you. Tell us about the mission of the project and yeah. what you guys have found thus far. Listen, at the end of the day, it's about getting facts, getting yes. the truth out. There's a lot of people in America that don't believe this election was held fairly. Yes. We need to find out. If it was, right. we should say so. If it isn't, we're going to expose the evidence. Yes. Over the last uh, 24 hours, we've assembled a team of over 30 journalists that are all over the country working, gathering ballots, gathering uh, election results analyzing data sets, and we already have some very early preliminary conclusions, some yes. news for you. Probably the first and most important news is we are aware of a whistleblower that is now working with the FBI in Michigan, a state worker uh, or city worker that uh, it says he was asked to backdate uh, ballots that had come in beyond the deadline to make them look like legitimate documents. Now, we don't know yet uh, whether the FBI has corroborated the story, but we can confirm that the FBI, the Justice Department, this whistleblower is working together. The Michigan GOP is aware of this person and referred the matter to the FBI. This is an wow. ongoing investigation. It would be the first example of a systemic or systematic effort to uh, create fake ballots or illegal ballots. So if it gets corroborated, watch that case. That could be a big one. You heard Ad- Adam Laxalt in Nevada. Yes. There's another uh, set of whistleblowers there. They're looking at some of the information there. We've done a couple things. We went into the city of Milwaukee, yes. where uh, the vote changed the outcome of the Wisconsin operation. Yes. Uh, Trump was leading when we went to bed. Wisconsin, we woke up after the Milwaukee vote came in. He lost. We see 90 of the 480 precincts, nearly a, a quarter of them, where the vote voter turnout was more than 90%. Now, we think it's going to be a record in America at 67%. Yeah. When you see a 90% precinct, you start to wonder, did something go on? So we've identified those. We've written about them. we said where they are. we put the spreadsheet out for the public to see. Now our reporters are going on the streets in the city of Milwaukee trying to interview people saying, did you really vote? Your name's on here. Wait a second. You look to have have died. Uh, Your father looks to have died. Did he vote? We're checking uh, Social Security records. We have found some people that appear to have voted that are dead. So we're beginning, we're in the very preliminary stages, but we're beginning to see patterns that might make the American public concerned when we, when we get our data done. 
Wow. And, and at the end of the day, again, this is about ensuring the integrity of yeah, the election. That's right. This isn't partisan. Nope. Every American should agree that we need to find out whether or not this was an election that was conducted and counted with, with integrity. 100%. And to come back on this Michigan story in particular, right. a reminder for all of our viewers, you have a deadline on election day, and it sounds like there's a whistleblower who's saying that there were votes that came in after the deadline, and they were asked to then backdate them to make them appear as if they were legal votes. That is the allegation that's currently being investigated. Right. There's an individual working with uh, the Justice Department, with the FBI, is what we're told. We, we're told it's Michigan and most likely Detroit is what we're hearing. Yes. Uh, and But you know, the FBI has to go in and, and check their credibility. Yeah, we have but to dig in. Getting an insider, a whistleblower, someone that was actually there as opposed to someone making a guess from 30 feet away standing. Right. Uh, could be a really significant development if there was fraud on the ground in Detroit, like the Michigan Party, Republican Party has been claiming. Very good. And then, and then the case in Wisconsin, again, you and the investigators aren't saying that there is fraud, but no. we're just saying statistically this looks anomalous when you're seeing 67% across the country and you've got 90 plus percent. Yeah. It's just worth digging into. Absolutely. And listen, there's only two things that could have happened. There's a lot of great civic engagement in Milwaukee. And then yes. if that's true, God bless the voters of Milwaukee for Absolutely. being so engaged. Yes. If we begin to find examples of people who didn't belong there, that or who died or say they didn't vote, then we're going to be able to expose that, tell the American people, hey, there's some weird weirdness in these counts in Milwaukee. We got to take a look at it. Awesome. And we've got, as you mentioned, 30 investigative reporters who are now working together yes. as a team going six in six different states in six different states. And all they're doing is looking at the facts. They're yep. looking at publicly available data. Yep. They're talking with poll workers. They're talking with potential viewers. And then they're going to bring those facts to the American people. That's right. Exactly right. what we're doing. We're also talking to a lot of election clerks. Mm. Um, uh, we're doing a survey in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. This is a very interesting issue. Yes. The law, as you've so articulately said on your show before, requires that all voters be treated the same in the state. Yes. You can't have Detroit voters be able to fix their ballots <laughs> and uh, Ann Arbor voters not being able to fix right. them. So we are talking to some uh, election clerks who say, we were told that there's some advice that was given to us on the 21st of uh, October that we could fix ballots or send them back to be fixed. We didn't get it. We didn't do it. But Detroit did. And so we're beginning to look at that. Uh, Pennsylvania, similar thing. Uh, we're beginning to see that. And if, if we find a pattern where voters in parts of the state didn't get treated the same as others, that could become a legal matter in the future. We're doing that survey. Right now, Pennsylvania, I think we're through half the clerks. Wow. I mean, th this is really important because, again, for our viewers, basic fundamental principle of the Constitution, yeah. equal protection under the law. That means that your vote, whether you're in an urban area, a rural area, a conservative county, a liberal right. county, they all need to be counted equally. But if county clerks or election officials in one county are treating ballots differently than another, that would violate the Constitution's Equal Protection Clause. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, and that's what that's we're what digging we're into. At. And again, we're not saying that it has happened, but we're saying that we need to dig in to that's find right. out whether or not it now, has. We do have affidavits yes. from three election clerks in Pennsylvania who said, listen, we did not give the same uh, thing to our, lawyers, our, wow. our constituents because we either didn't know about it or we thought the advice was illegal. So we're already beginning to see a pattern, at least in Pennsylvania, where voters were treated differently depending on where they live. Now we've got three or four. We're doing a survey of all 70. We'll find out. We'll get those results back to you, Eric. Awesome. And your team is going to be digging into this all, th all through the weekend and through All and next, through next week. week. Yeah, it's going to take a few weeks to get to the bottom of this. We're using the Freedom of Information Act, too, to get all communications between poll workers and Election Central in their cities. We'll see what those communications show, too. Yeah, because, again, those folks, whether they're elected officials or people who are in charge, they should have been giving the same instructions That's to right. everybody across every state state. Well, John, we really appreciate you and My the pleasure. whole Just the News team digging into this. Yeah, it's a fantastic group. partnership with Real America's Voice. And folks, again, that's why we are bringing you these stories right here on Actionable Intelligence. Go out for the latest over the weekend. Go out to justthenews.com. And as we've said, here on this program before. The beautiful thing is that at justthenews.com, you're gonna be able to not only read these stories, but all of the journalists also put in a dig deeper section. You can go in and you can read the raw documents yourself and come up with your own conclusions. It's really important that we have election integrity. We hear you and we're working with you. God bless you. We'll be right back in a minute.